Naja. Father. It seems you have the zeal and determination to bring the name of this family down into ashes. Of all the people in this city you had to fall in love with, you had to fall in love with a criminal? I'm disappointed in you. Yes, Nemesis is caught up with him. He's been arraigned before my court, and I'll see he serves the maximum punishment he deserves. I'm still in love with you, Joe. What hope do you have in a man who's going to be sentenced and put behind bars? Don't tell me you love me when you're involved with another man. Naja, you cannot declare your love in public and share your dreams with me. Joe. hurting me. Thank 
God you were charged into my father's courts. What is there to thank God about? It seems like you don't know how the law works at all. Your dad never liked me and I have just stupidly given him the opportunity to do whatever he likes now. Been to see him, huh? The Joe I know is not a thief. Will you shut up? Don't you know the difference between a sheep and a serpent? He hides his heart full of poison while he wears the cloth of a sheep to gain your sympathy. How senseless can you be? Father, he has promised that if he gets out of this, he'll tread on a righteous path. He was led into it. He's not a thief. The law will take its due course, and if he is found guilty, he will face the appropriate punishment. I will not spare him. You will not do this to me, Father. You will free him. I'll do no such thing. Yes, you will, Father. Shut up. Father, don't damn it to shut up. You're not being... Will you shut up? Stop it, Naja. My heart is heavy. All this broken dream. It seems so scary. I'll do whatever it takes to free the father of my unborn child. Father, I love you. You will not jail him. You will free him. Oh, for God's sake. What's the meaning of this? What is this? Is love a reason for madness? Aren't you ashamed of yourself to speak to your father, a man of great repute, like a street girl? Naja, he means well for you. You hurting him. How hurt is he compared to what I'm going through? What have you gone through that has never been experienced before? Pray never to experience it, because you go mad in seconds. I'll not let you become an enemy to yourself. As your father, I will not desert you. You should be very happy that destiny has saved you from the claws of that wretched boy, that criminal. Free him, that's all I ask. You know that to be difficult. What is difficult about it? Hasn't he ever turned cases in favor of those who have bribed him? Father, you will set Joe free. I will do no such thing. Then you will leave me with no option but to tell the press that the thieves we see with guns are the less privileged ones and the real thieves are those who stand in judgment over them. Watch the serpent in your mouth. Are you calling me a thief? Daddy, please. Please. Since it's come to this, I will draw from the case. I'll recuse myself. No, Dad. You will handle it. I will not free a man caught committing an act of robbery. Never! Naja, think. If he frees him, it will ridicule his profession. And if Joe goes to jail, my entire life will crumble. Why won't Dad set him free? What Joe did with the gun, you also do in your office with your position. Careful. Careful. I could disown you, you know. Go ahead. 
I could help you call for a press conference for you to do that. If you could swing cases in favor of those who have bribed you by paying money into your account, why then can't you set free a man I love? I swear, Father, if Joe is jailed, both of us will face the consequences. Good evening. This is AAP TV with breaking news. Our music icon, Ish Thompson, left South Africa last night on an emergency flight to perform on a musical concert. He will soon be joining us late this month. Also, Jonathan Moore, who was charged with committing armed robbery on the 3rd of May, has now been exonerated from all the charges leveled against him. The case was presided by the Supreme Court Judge Justice Saba. Thank you for listening. Emma Irabna Amfo reporting. I'm talking to you. What happened? Buy my things outside. I'm not owing you. I cannot accommodate a thief in my house. Just go out and take your things out. Thief. I don't blame you. Thief. Young Maladis. Point your parents. Doesn't look like been thrown out. Why? Pride, my dignity, everything has been taken away from me. Just because of a simple mistake. the city to Accra. I'm going to start a new life. Aja. Thanks for being the first queen of my life. Good to miss you to death. All I have is my life savings. See what you can do with it. Start up a new life with it, please. 
You have shown me the love of a mother, not of lovers or a wife. The love of lovers can be unfaithful. A wife can be unfaithful to her man, but that of a mother to her child, no matter the circumstance, it will never be unfaithful. I love you, Nadja. Please stay out of bad company and crime. Time. Yes, yes, You're yes, welcome. yes. Ah. My daughter Nadja. Ah. Dr. Wusu. Hello. Aziza. It's a pleasure. Dr. Wusu. Uh, the pleasure is mine. Okay, sweetheart. I got to go. Okay. Uh. Okay, bye bye then. Okay. How do you like it? Yes, yeah, fine. You sure? Mm -hmm. Ah, well, <laughs> this is where you're going to stay for the next seven months. So I hope you'll be comfortable. Anyway, um, this is Agnes and Mansa. They are here to take care of all your daily needs, okay? But don't hesitate to call me if you need any help at all. I won't. Oh. Okay, well, <clears throat> I'll leave you to get to know each other, okay? Welcome. Naja. Happy. You're welcome. Mansa. All right, Mansa. Okay, we'll be with you soon. All right, bye. with eyes that I see. And it is with my heart that I feel Hey, hey, hey T, 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 T I can feel the beat when I see you Let them worries pass, have no fear And it is with these ears that I hear Hey, boom, boom T, 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 T it's music to my ears when I see you Sweetie, sweetie, oh, say I go die for you Lovey, lovey, oh, my heart just they craze for you If you love me, yeah, I love you Anything you want, I go do for you
I like the things you make me do. My daughter. Say I love you too. What is wrong with you? Talk to me. What is your problem? How are you? How are the children? Fine. How are the children? Hello, madam. You know my How's son. Yeah. So where have you been? Mommy, around, mommy, around. I just came to surprise you. What is it? Guess what? What is it? My name is on the list. What list? I've been admitted to the police academy. <laughs> Keep your voice down. What? I have a patient in there. Oh. She's not in a good mood. Oh, mommy, I just came to give you the good news. That's it. Yeah. <laughs> I'm good. And now I'm going to be a yeah. police. <laughs> mommy, no. I, I have to rush. I wish I could stay longer. I just came to give you some money, okay? To keep it. I... Oh, my God. Yeah, this is one here. Okay, Two. Yeah. All this for me. All for you, mommy. Oh, oh, Sam. Sam, <laughs> so, mommy, you know what? I've left Kumasi to Accra now. So now I live in Accra. I, I hope there's no problem. No, 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 no. There's no problem. There's no problem. It's just that I realize there are more opportunities in Accra and all that. You understand? So I just came to settle here. Then may God grant you genuine mercy. Amen, mommy. <laughs> I okay, wish I could stay longer. Of you too, mommy. Take care of the children. Okay. Okay, madam. Mommy, I'll see you, okay? Yeah. Okay? Okay? Okay, mommy. Bye. Hey, God. God.
do you want? What do you want? You told me the pregnancy was terminated. What she has in her is not yours. You have to prove that to me, sir. Are you being stubborn? No. I just want to be cleared. They say it takes only a mother to tell the rightful father to her child. Sir, if she tells me to my face that that child is not mine, I will quietly leave. But if that child is my blood, I will take what rightfully belongs to me. I don't want you to see her. I don't want you to talk to her. She now knows the face behind the mask. If you do not leave now, you'll have yourself to blame. Why do you want to deny an innocent child the right to his or her father? Justice, you can separate me all you want from your daughter, but don't take my child away from me. My mother is sick and she's in dying need of a grandchild. I don't want a child with the blood of a thief in my family. I'm putting the child up for adoption. You will do no such thing, sir. But when I'm alive... What is the guarantee that if I give the child to you, you'll not blackmail me in future for a share of my property? I can sign my life on that. Can you sign your life that my daughter will never know that the child is with you? Because as far as she'll be concerned, the child will be dead. I can sign my life on that too, sir. Will you sign your life that nobody will ever know the link between the child and my family? On my life, sir. Then sign this. If you do otherwise, something will happen. You can bet your life on it. How is she? Congratulations, you have a baby girl. What about my daughter? How is she? Oh, she'll be okay. She'll be okay is not the answer. What is her condition? I want to see her. <sighs> Take it easy. We had some complications at first, but uh, I can assure you she'll be fine. You sure she'll be fine? Anyway, I'm giving the baby to this young man. Well, if you think this young man is capable of taking care of the baby, what can I say? Look, check these documents uh, and sign them for me. There's no need for me to sign no any document. Sign no documents. way, there's no need. Ah. Oh. Okay, give the baby to the grandpa. No, 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 no. Give the baby to this young man here. Remember to keep our little secret. Just a minute. Just a minute. With all due respect, sir. I don't think we'll be needing this. Why don't you give it to the less privileged in this home? Yes. What? What is it, doctor? Are you okay? Lost her. I'm sorry. My daughter giving birth. I'm sorry, madam. She lost the baby. What? How is she? I don't know her condition for now. The matron asked all the nurses to leave the labor room. But why? I don't know, madam. Can you please excuse me?
What is it, Mummy? Why are you crying? <laughs> the night has fallen on daytime, sir. <laughs> I lost my grandchild. What What is night and daytime got to do with grandchild, Mummy? What are you talking riddles for? What is it? My daughter lost her baby. The young girl under my care. She lost her child, my grandchild. Oh, Naja, I wonder how you are feeling now. We both prayed day and night for a safe delivery. Oh, son, he even signed a ten-year contract with me to take care of her baby. Naja was under your care. You know her. Yeah? Obviously not the one I know. Son, whose baby is this? This baby, I found it in a basket in front of my door. So I took it to the police station and signed documents and decided to keep it. How can you go ahead and adopt a child when you don't have a good source of income? I mean, you've always wanted a grandchild and look, God has given you one now. I think you should bring your stop to your crying heart and all your worries. No. No. I want my son's own child. Not an adopted one. You must take this baby where you took it from. Never, mommy. I'm not taking this baby anywhere. If you love me as a son, you'll accept this baby as your grandchild. Excuse me, ma'am. I need to give her milk. So, if you must keep this baby, then we must give it to Naja. Since she lost her child, I'm sure this will put smiles on her face again. Mom, you like her that much? Son, I adore her. She's just like my own child. <laughs> But your heart is heavy. Tell me the truth. Where did you get this baby from? And why are you crying? Mommy, I'm not crying. It's just because of how you're feeling, that's all. Give her to me. Let me take her to Naja. I'm sure to put a smile on her face again. How could you? How could you, father? My child died and you didn't give me the chance to see her. You buried my child without letting me see her. Without letting me touch or even kissing her. How wicked could you be? Oh, my baby. <laughs> My baby. Do you think I would let you see a dead child? It's even a taboo for you to see your firstborn dead at birth. You should be happy you survived. Take me to my child. Take me to where you buried her. <laughs> if you're strong enough, then let's go. Come with me. To him, a child is born. And to him, a child is given. He that giveth, taketh. But he that giveth this, doeth it, that you may have no more tears for the rest of your life. Mommy. I didn't see my baby's body. I neither kissed or touched her. 
let alone drop my tears on her. God has replaced your tears with laughter, my child. Today, he took your daughter. Today, he gave my son an abandoned child that you may breed. Accept this baby for me. She feels the arms of a mourning mother. Wipe your tear, my child. Your joy has come. of this child shine upon your household. If God could deny me the fruit of my womb, then I don't deserve to be a mother. Which is yours will come and will live to put laughter on your face. Thanks for blessing this child. Madam, have you seen your son? Why do you ask? He had a serious argument with Niger's father. I didn't hear what they talked about. I guess the argument wasn't pleasant. When was that? During Niger's labor hours. Was he carrying a baby? No, he wasn't. Excuse me. Whose baby is this, Joe? Tell me about it. Whose baby is this? Joe, I'm your mother. Talk to me. Tell me the truth. Where did you get the baby? Mommy, I'm not in the mood to talk now. I've already talked about this. What problems do you have with Naja's father? I don't know Naja's father. I don't even know who Naja is. What problems do you have with Saba? So where did you get this baby from? Answer my questions. I mean, don't ask me questions I don't have answers to. I asked you to get me a grandchild. Not to buy me one. Your late sister left her daughter. Ah, stop raising your voice. Relax, mommy. It's not what you think. I know you're very inquisitive. I tried to tell you, but I got myself into some problems I didn't want you to know about. What don't you want me to know about? Tell me, who sold this baby to you? Because I'm sending the baby back. I didn't buy this baby from anyone. Shut Mom. 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 Mommy. Mom. Mom.
Let the dead bury themselves. Let them rest in peace. Casey. These were the only two people in my life that gave meaning to it. And yet they left without saying a simple goodbye. The ache of your love still remains in my heart. It's like an obsession that cannot be ended. Not even death. Have you gone to pay a last respect to her? Come in. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, sir. Where's your mom? She's home. She asked me to come bring the baby. Okay, I'll be with you soon. Daddy's daughter. Wow. Mama Sita. Senorita Fafaradora. She's beautiful. Perfect. Casey, she's only 16, okay? Well, that is what you see. I see a woman in here. Shut up. Because I swear if you put your filthy hands on her, you'll go to jail. That is after I get what I want, right? <laughs> I'm just kidding. What are you doing here? The dead also deserves our respect. I'm here to pay my last respect to the one who gave meaning to my life. May her soul rest in peace. Thank you. You may leave, but don't ever step foot in this house again, uninvited. I won't. Ever, I promise. Daddy, who were you talking to? I wasn't talking to anyone. I was just speaking to myself aloud. I heard Joe's voice. Are you okay? My baby. Are you beginning to hear strange voices? Seems so scary. 
In my mind. I'm losing it. I heard Joe's voice. It was so close. It was so real. I'm afraid something terrible must have happened to him. Hello? Hello? Don't ever think you can have anything to do with this family again. Don't you ever call this line again. You understand?
Hello? Excuse me, miss. Are you alright? No, I... I just can't see clearly. I don't know what's happening to my eye. I couldn't see, so I parked my car here. But don't worry about me, I'll be fine. It's very unsafe in this area, you know that. It's very late. Where are you coming from? <laughs> One too many drinks, right? <laughs> I understand. Where'd you live? I'll take you home. If you don't mind. I'm a police officer. You'll be safe. Suppose this is your house. You know her? Yeah, she's my sister. What happened? Oh, she just had a little bit too much to drink, that's all. I almost forgot these are her car keys. Her car is at the total filling station I picked from Junction. Yes, help me up, please. And here's my card. Just get my card and give it to her after she's awake. Okay, I just want to make sure she's right. Okay, don't worry, I understand. <laughs> okay. See you. What are you doing with all the money from the drug raid? It has started generating much heat. The public and the press are becoming extremely curious. Casey, I am granting no interview until I finish my investigation, okay? Alright. I didn't see you yesterday, did I? Casey, the girls you brought to that party. I... What? What did you get them from? About 50% of the girls that were at the party last night were non invitees. I call them sharp girls. Punto. <laughs> you saw them flattering them to like kites without string. They ain't shit. They ain't shit. I, I succeeded in taking one fresh leg home to grace my beautiful bed. <laughs> Beauty. Sometimes they say it stings just like 
a bee. Beauty stings like a bee. Sure. Sharp girls are like naked live wire. Trust mm. me. Just put your pinky on them and then all you get is. <laughs> <laughs> your hair should be standing. What are you doing awake? I'm looking at Auntie's beautiful picture. She's beautiful. When people die, do they come back to life? No. When people die, they don't come back to life. Does that mean I will never see Auntie again? Oh, you will. You will see your Auntie. But that is when you're a big girl. Don't worry, I'll get you another auntie. But now you have to go to bed. Alright? Okay. Close your eyes. You pray in your head before you sleep, okay? Okay. You are away. And yet so close. Your memory can never be forgotten. Naja, you have cast a shadow on my life in my night and day. Baby misses you. I miss you. We love you. Hello? I just want to say thank you and request that I host you tomorrow in my house after work. I'm begging for this. No problem. Thanks, I'll be expecting you. Okay, bye bye. Alright, bye. Red, they say, is the color of blood. Blood is the water of life. And life is all about love. Let us drink to love. Chill, say something. I'm in love with you. You hardly even know me. I know what I feel towards you. I'm in love with you. Don't you have a lover? Not anymore. What happened? Don't be a detective all my life. I lost him in a brutal motor accident. And please, don't call back memories. Eve. I'll have to go. Ch 
I want you to do me a favor. What's that? Make love to me. Who are you? A girl who is in love with you. Make me a woman again. that I see and it is with my heart that I feel hey I can feel this meat when I see you
doing? Right, you look right. cute, fly. Wait, wait. <laughs> now where's my baby, man? Oh, I think she's 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 inside. She was trying to dress or something. I don't hey. know. Ah, there she is, hot and sexy. Ah. Mm. 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 Now, yeah, man, big papa is here. What is it? You've been bagging me too much. Now, break the ice. My floor stopped. Doctor confirms Sharon is pregnant. Killed your smile? You know I'm engaged to this lady and betrothed to her. And we are getting married this weekend. You would do no such thing, Jerry. Not to Sharon. You know me well enough. Be reasonable for once, Sharon. Not after riding me like a horse and planting a seed inside me, Jerry. Go and cancel that wedding. I'm waiting to see your ring on my finger. Shut up, Sharon. This is your boss you're talking to. Big bro, this is no business time. We are talking matters of the heart and you have no idea what it's about. So please just stay out of it. You know I will never marry you. It's impossible. Sweetheart, try me. <sighs> okay, doctor. All right, okay. See you then. What is it? You've made me pregnant. Your cancer returned. But there's good news. It can be cured. Stop giving me false hope, Doctor. How much time do I have left? You don't need to get worried. Doctor, how much time do I have left? Three months. Look. And um, what is it? <laughs> Money for your cure. I'll deliberately delay the investigation whilst we patiently wait for the loan. We're talking five months, Joel. Who taught you this song? My uncle. Who is your uncle? 